Dome, congratulations Thank on, you. on the win. Uh, it was difficult, it seemed, for a while to get the goal. Um, what did you see different maybe from your team in the second half? Was it just more conviction sticking with the plan? No. Uh, in the second half, uh, we played uh, very different because uh, uh, we changed a little bit the, the position, the, uh, the position, the, especially the Ronnie Jesus. In the first half, uh, we play uh, white, and uh, our intention was not play white. Uh, our intention is play with three striker. Is uh, Rodney, Jesus, and 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 Tommy uh, had to be close to to Rodney, and. We didn't play well because uh, our intention we practice uh, two days play with uh, three strikers. In the second half, we change a little bit uh, and we play with do two strikers, uh, Maxi and Jesus, and the uh, uh, left side, uh, Tommy, right side, uh, Ronnie. The, the reason why is uh, uh, we try to play with uh, two uh, false nine, okay? And I say it many times uh, in the second half, in the local room, especially in Maxi and Jesus, when we have the ball, uh, we have to make uh, uh, like a box in the middle and we have a control. And the right moment, you, uh, you can attack. Uh, we change uh, in that way. And uh, the second half, uh, we played uh, close to... to uh, to the way I like to play. Tome, after the... Here. You want to... Okay. <laughs> after the Red Bulls game and how exhausting that game had been, the effort for the Derby and everything involved with that, to see the team recover physically and to perform, you know, for the second time this week and now to do it again for Thursday, how's everyone's fitness looking? It wasn't It wasn't easy for us because, you know, it's... Uh, we play uh, in, in three days, uh, two games. But uh, I impressed the, 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 the performance of our players because uh, seems uh, were uh, better uh, our players physically than the, the Montreal players. They, uh, I congratulate uh, my players because the, their four they did uh, was amazing. It's not it's not easy to play three days. Uh, but the most important thing what that happened uh, is pass the ball. Is not run for the run and pass the ball and keep the ball. Uh, if you keep the ball, uh, the opponent runs and you uh, has to play uh, can can play simple, and the effort is for the opponent normally. Uh, I'm very happy for them because. Uh, I know it's not easy, uh, especially in, the, in that moment because we have three or four players injured, but uh, they play uh, amazing. Okay. Hello, my name is Serene Sugu, and I am reporting for NYU Soccer, Radio, and Social Entre Entrepreneurship. And I want to know what was going through your head at halftime and what was your message to the players? No, the message, uh, I repeat, uh, the, uh, my message uh, was uh, we have to change a little bit, especially when we play with uh, two uh, strikers. Uh, our intention uh, was two strikers uh, go back and our wingers up. Uh, and, uh, the intention was uh, create a space behind uh, the midfielders. Uh. And after t after ten minutes, uh, we were able to to create the spaces, and and we have uh, more comfortable in the in the field because we can uh, combine it. We we can make uh, 10, 11, 12 passes. It's very important for us. That is the way I prefer to play. And the message was uh, you didn't play bad, but we have to improve because. Uh, the reason why we play with three uh, uh, near to the the Ronnie, uh, our intention is to play inside, not outside, and change a little bit in in the in the way the the second half. And, and I say uh, uh, you can play better 
uh, you are much better than the Montreal right now in the but uh, we have to attack uh, with uh, more intensity we have when arrive in the side uh, in the uh, side wide cross and play inside play inside all the time with uh, the we have two special players for me it's, uh, right now is Jesus and and Max is very difficult they lose the ball and the intention for us uh, was play with uh, Jesus play all the time with Maxi and after that uh, our wingers go inside behind and play behind them okay para breve visión este primeramente muchas felicidades por esta nueva victoria este mm -hmm. ¿Qué fue o cuál fue la motivación que les dio a sus jugadores para obtener estos resultados después de, del medio tiempo? Bueno, eh, lo he dicho ahora, lo he repetido otra vez. Es, eh, primero, el mensaje era, sí, un mensaje de motivación era que eh, no nos servían para nada los tres puntos contra Red Bulls, que es un derby y a todo el mundo le gusta ganar, si no éramos capaces de ganar. Porque al final valen los mismos tres puntos contra Red Bull que tres puntos contra Montreal. Entonces, uh, les dije, no podemos dejar en casa escapar esta oportunidad, la liga aún es muy larga, y tenemos que hacer hacernos fuertes en casa, sois capaces de hacerlo, y luego cambiamos tácticamente lo que he comentado, de jugar con dos falsos nueves que se juntaran en el medio campo para crear superioridad. Ok. okay. Uh, Montreal were a team that won uh, its last four games consecutively coming into this. What were some threats? What was the potential threats that you identified uh, from them coming into this game? Yeah, uh, I watched the, the last four games and they, they were able to, to win the, you know, the four, four games. Uh, right now, uh, they were in top form for me. Uh, I was uh, a little surprised when I watched the, the lineup because the, the players who impressed me uh, in the last uh, four games uh, is uh, Silva, uh, especially Piatti and, and Mancoso. And uh, when I, uh, I watched the, the lineup, I say, okay, maybe uh, they are tired. I don't know. Is the decision the 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 their uh, manager but for me the the best players in the, is uh, or the dangerous players for us uh, is uh, Mancuso on Piatti Mancuso is in the bench okay for us is maybe better but uh, I understand the reason why because it's not easy to play uh, three games in a row and uh, maybe the decision the the manager was uh, okay maybe we are tired I don't know I, I I don't know the reason why, but when I watched the last four games, especially these three players, if you are able to control Piatti, Silva, and Mancuso, uh, you have uh, more possibilities to, to win the, the game. Okay, last question. Hi, Domi. Over here. Okay. Um, Jonathan Lewis, uh, do you see him as a kind of the perfect player to, to bring off the bench? because of his pace it's getting humid and hot yeah. and y y talk about jonathan a little bit in no jana is a, you know he's a fast player uh, is a, he has a lot of intensity in every single duel and every single ball when when he's a fighter but uh, when the opponent is uh, defend deep uh, he has more more uh, issue you know uh, I prefer right now, right, step by step, because he's a young player, step by step, I'm, I'm here, we are here, uh, my staff, uh, to try to improve, not j uh, just Jonah, Jonah, Kwame, the, the young players especially, no? Uh, it's very important for us, because when the, when the game is open, is open, is the, for me, right now, is the right moment for, for Jonah, because the quality for Jonah, uh, um, they run behind, behind them they have quality uh, to go one by one but uh, sometimes they they play in the they start to play they start to play maybe uh, next game 
But step by step, uh, he has to improve. He's a young player. I'm very happy with him. He's very, very happy because the most important thing uh, as a coach is when uh, one player uh, play uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, focus in that. And right now, uh, Jonah is focused in every single second. I'm very happy for, uh, for, the, for the team, especially for, for him.